All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another 500. I'm going to get right to the chase here. Um, I have taken over the entire uh, continent here. Now, here's something where we're going to discover uh, whether or not something I heard was true or not. So what I heard was, as soon as the last country, this is North Borneo, you can see I've taken over everything else of North Borneo. Uh, this up here is North Borneo. Dang it. All right. Well, never mind. I thought it was, uh, that's North Borneo also. I thought it was this island group, uh, Mindanao, Mindanao uh, who you can see um, South Dutch Papua is going after, which is great. <laughs> All right, never mind. I was going to check the, the uh, idea that once you take the last country, the armies disappear. Um, so I thought this was the last country I'm about to take it, but that is not the case. And so we're not going to be fortunate enough to see that. The reason is, look at this sneaky guy. That's a nice little attack force right there. That's 13 infantry. They're pretty low morale. They've been at sea for a long time. You know, you lose morale at sea unless you're, uh, unless you're with a stack with a naval vessel. A lot of people don't know that. If you are with a stack with a naval vessel, you do not lose morale at sea. Um, but these guys have been at sea. They've got, they're less than half strength. So that's kind of depressing. But you know, every cavalry attacks as twice the infantry. So they're basically a stack of like, what, 17 right now. Um, however, they only have the strength of eight. So a little less than half, unfortunately. Um, what I do have here just waiting is a double fortress and i'll easily be able to stream in enough to fight that off you know these two will hold off the first attack and then i've got another three four five six seven coming in so yeah not a fair fight especially since uh he's just going to be hitting his head against concrete here what i'm concerned about is that if he damages this factory then it will uh, well, no, it won't, because you can still build a factory with level two, uh, still build a submarine with a level two factory. So even if he damages the three down to a two, it should be okay. That'll be my seventh sub. Um, I do have all six subs moving over here. You may ask why. You can see everything is rallied here. So I've got uh, two battleships rallied here, nine cruisers, and six submarines, about to be seven. You can see that one almost developing. That's going to be one hell of a battle group along with this 14 cruisers from Otago. Why, you might ask. And then here's two battleships from Sydney. Very cool. And then here's nine cruisers from Sydney. Why? Here's why. Bombay has showed up. Bombay has showed up with three battleships and three cruisers. Now, that doesn't seem like a huge fleet, but three battleships are hard to kill. I've gone up against one battleship with like six cruisers and lost. And I'm just like, how can that be? They're just hard to kill. They they just have a lot of, let's just check. Uh, I think it's in the hit points is the problem. Yeah, 12 hit points. So, you know, it's not that their damage is out of control, although it's pretty darn good. Um, you know, their strength is very good, but it's that it's just that they have 12 hit points. You know, that's just a lot. And let's compare that over here. This is interesting because I rarely do these kind of comparisons, and I really should. Um, cruisers, oh, Okay, so 12 hit points for this entire flotilla? Maybe so. Okay, so uh, then now I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is that, yeah, because this one gave me a lot more hit points, but I know that's not true, but it's for the entire stack. So, okay. Um, I do need to study up on this. I know the data is out there, but what I what I just know from experience is that battleships are hard to kill. And also, I know this. Here's a fun little threatening uh, message I got from Aziz, the here we go, Azni, the Indian YouTuber. <laughs> it's funny. I went on YouTube and I looked for As As Azni, and I couldn't find him. But you'd know that they actually have different um, servers and whatnot. So maybe if you're in India, you can find him. So if you're if you're in India or maybe um, even in Australia, somewhere over in that region, maybe you'll be able to find this guy. I, th I thought I'd go see what he's up to. Uh, he's got this little his his. Uh, let me see if I can get over to him. Yeah, here we go. Yo, bro, what's up? What's up? Anyway, he sent me this. Uh, he sent me this kind of formal. I thought this is pretty cool. You'll see. I respect this kind of thing, you know, like I usually just like, brah, back off, you know, 
But he says, good afternoon, Governor Spinkerton. I'm witnessing aggression from your coalition partner, Sydney, towards North Madras. I require to cease all aggressive maneuvers or I will be forced to intervene. Regards. I, I like that. And then so I said, I've told him to back off. So, uh, you know, just between you and me, I did tell them to back off. For one thing, I've got about 600 men on this island that I just need. To, first of all, I need to get this island up in morale its morale is very low because i just invaded everything but i've got like 600 guys over here i don't know maybe four maybe just 12 cal uh, um, cannon and then of course my seven bombers are all going to station here so i've got a lot of land stuff that can get can, that can drop here soon um all this stuff here is i want to say like 90 no 100 107 they're all coming to here to join this heavy tank in 48. So that's, you know, 150 infantry and a heavy tank. So um, I just kind of figured rather than have a naval battle here, I mean, so first of all, this nine cruisers is gone. Um, if he goes against, you know, maybe think about battleships as three cruisers each. I don't know if that's accurate, but even if they're just two cruisers each, that's still nine on nine. And there's just more hit points up here, I think. Now, now I'm not so sure. Because if this stack, let's just look at this. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the stack of battleships had 12. This has six for a total of 18. And then over here, um, we decided how many? 16. So they'll lose this battle by just a little bit. So that kind of makes more sense that a battleship would be worth two cruisers, it, more or less, you know, in terms of hit points. Uh, but a little bit more than two. But then morale fi factors in as well. His morale is pretty high. His morale is 100%. So, yeah, I think we might be able to use that metric in the future just to kind of calculate stacks. Is that a battleship is worth two cruisers, if you're kind of just trying to think, versus who's going to win. Okay, because the hit points were two more over here. But this guy is down by 20 by 10%, his morale. So each of those nine is down by 10%. Okay, good stuff. But anyway, what I did ask him is I said, hey, you know, since they're not engaged, really what they're doing is they're just raking the coast here. They're just moving along and just dropping crap. Um, we're going to rally here. So he's got two battleships. He's got nine cruisers. So let's just, this will be fun. Let's just think about how much stuff, how much crap is going to rally to here. We're going to have four battleships. We're going to have 18 plus 14. We're going to have, uh, what is that, 32? 18 plus 14, it's it's somehow more than that. No, it's right, 32. 32 cruisers and seven subs. That's going to be just the nuttiest naval stack ever. So while I'm marching in the most massive uh, army that this, this game has seen yet, and by the way, I say this game, I don't know what's going on here in Crazy Town. Look at this stuff. He's probably got, absolutely has you know, twice what I've got, three times what I've got, you know, per region. He's probably got a giant army up here, a giant army down here, a giant army down here. You know, this guy's out of control over here. He's nuts. But uh, again, we're trying not to think about him. So as we march up with our massive armies, um, we're going to take this island first. And then once we jump on the mainland, it's on. Um, what I'm going to try to do is save up a lot of steel and wood and just start building railroads all the way up the coast here. Just build a railway. I'll build a, uh, I'll build a harbor here, so that we can get on this island quickly, and just all the way up the island. Let's go. In fact, no, I, I don't want to build an island on both of these. So um, in the future, like, so I'm I'm picturing later on we're at war up here. We need to we need to have um, people coming in, streaming in. Um. We'll work on refining our railway system. Uh, one thing I did immediately, I think I mentioned to you earlier, was put, good, those are fully developed, put uh, aerodromes in a path across this island. So future aircraft, that one's still building. Um, I think on the coast we have one that's still building. Um, aircraft will have a path, and from here they should be able to easily jump over to here and then just you know support up here. So I did ask these guys to pull back. Um, to me, that has a twin effect of, first of all, it allows us to regroup and then come back and just kick ass. Um, but then it also um, it also gives Bombay the impression that we are retreating. Although I do notice that Bombay has a ton of spies over here. 
around this situation. So that's why I also love my subs coming in because subs do see other subs. So uh, I'm pretty sure. Now, now, if you know better, let me know. Because, you know, I, I say what I've heard and that's the best info I have to go on. But uh, people who have better information, please let me know. Uh, for instance, the guy who let me know that uh, level two factories build faster than level one factories. Turns out they build twice as fast as level one factories. I'm already using that in some of my other games. So super cool stuff. All right. Um, also, my bombers are moving in to attack this last cruiser of North Borneo. From there, I will move my bombers to the tip here um, to go ahead and help to facilitate my invasion. And as I mentioned, I think I'm going to invade down, invade, <laughs> you know, you invade during an invasion. Um, I'm going to invade down into here first and take this entire island. I, it is a different country so that I, let me just make sure this guy is boycotting me. Screw you, buddy. Um, yeah, he's not part of any coalition. Now I have to boycott him back. Why do you have to go do that? Oh, he is. Okay. I'm not sure how that works. Was he, he was maybe in an enemy coalition at one point that we had, been at war with? I don't know. All right. So that's it, guys. Good stuff going on here as usual. Um, oh, yeah. Last thing over here. I'm making a bid for this island group. It's looking like a terrible idea. Two question marks. I guess they're in two different towns. You can't even see what's going on here, but maybe there's two different towns. I can't remember. I, I just thought I sent enough stuff out here. I mean, good Lord, there's what, like 15, 18 guys here with seven more. So hopefully that's enough to overwhelm whatever's here. Uh, no, that's just one island. So they must just be on the same point, but their reading is different because they have to be in a level two factory to be invisible at this close of range. So they're just showing up as two different. Some that, sometimes that happens. Two different stacks that are in the same bunker show up as two, you know, as two instead of merged into one. No idea why. All right. I was just hoping to have this island as just a remote sensor island. And then, of course, you want to talk about remote sensor islands. We go all oh, the way. Oh, oh yeah. I'm glad we I wanted to show you this. So I was going to bring my six subs over here to make this just like a landmine of an island. If you come over here, you just get, you know, screwed over heavily. But uh, I, I realize those subs are going to be needed. Um, they're not really useful in the Pacific right now. But look what's happening. Oh, my little pet project, my rail gun. And, you know, it's dumb because all he has to do is land and then destroy it. But I don't know. It's just fun to me to think that he might come over and just sit here. This has happened to me. And you're just getting attacked by a railgun and you don't notice when you click on it will say attacked or being attacked or something like that. But if you don't notice that, then you just sit there and you just, you know, as you sit there, you just lose troops because you can't see the railgun. He's out of vision. It's a fun thing. All right. That's it, guys. Don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, another 500 is going great. I'm really enjoying it. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios, amigos.